Hello art superstars and welcome. Today we are going to create some patterns by gluing down found objects which we've got in the house. You will need either some PVA glue, or if you don't have PVA glue you can mix equal quantities of flour and water to create an adhesive. Um, I'm going to use some paint, so poster paints or acrylics you can use to paint afterwards that bit's optional it's not not essential but if you want to do some painting then that's that's great that's fine some paint brushes if you want to do painting a uh, jar or container with some water in um, <clears throat> and some dried food or objects from around the house now I've had a look in my cupboards and this is what I've got so I've got some pasta some rice and some red lentils things like this work really well so red lentils lentils pulses grains um, spaghetti anything dry like that if you don't have anything that you can use um, you can get some leaves from outside so some dead leaves will work nicely um, dried corn flakes bran flakes will glue down or sticks and twigs will work really nicely um, is anything like that that you, you can find that you've got around the house or even some old food wrappers that you can cut up if they've got some nice colours on. You can use that's absolutely fine. We're just going to work with, with whatever you've got in the house. That's great. And I'm going to use some cardboard here. So these are quite big. These are A3 sheets. So A3 or A4, they don't have to be this big if you prefer to work on a smaller size that's absolutely fine so cardboard or paper paper needs to be nice and thick as we're sticking lots of heavier um, items down and we're going to be creating a pattern today uh, making up our own patterns so I've just got some examples here to show you so these are patterns which should be made on the computer. So it could be you have a repeat of something where you, you stick the same thing down again and again. As we can see with these patterns here, they're repeats of the same picture. Or it could be quite simple where you stick the same picture down, the same um, object down again and again or maybe facing different ways, or it could be abstract. It could just be stuck down, things stuck down in different places, how you please. I've done this one as a little example first. So it's a bit like a repeat pattern. We've got a, a pattern, the same thing happening again and again. So the pasta being stuck down with the red lines around it. And then above one, we've got some red lentils and blue petals, which looks like a flower, and then red lentils and green, and then red and blue. So we're following a pattern on that one. But like I say, you can just stick down as you please, and you can paint afterwards, or you can just leave it as it is. So I'm just gonna move my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. And like I say, I'm working on a large sheet of card, because this is what I have in the house. It's up to you, you can work on a smaller, scale if that's what you've got it, it 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 doesn't matter too much for this it's just whatever you prefer and what you've got so as i've done um this pattern that's a repeat pattern as an example i might do something a little bit different this time you are welcome to follow with me with whatever you have at home or do something completely different so I'm just going to pop some glue down first, quite a nice thick layer, doing a circle. And I'm just going to go with the flow with this, so whatever I think looks nice. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start with some pasta, I think. So I've put a piece of pasta in the middle. I'm going to press down. And then I'm going to get some of my red lentils. And I'm just going to sprinkle them. I'm going to pat them down as well. So I'm just going to sprinkle them onto the glue. And I'm going to try and cover that area of glue with lentils. So if you're sticking some little bits down here, whatever your objects are. Just remember to 
gently press them with one finger and make sure they're not on top of each other because if they are they'll fall off and we want them to stay down. So I'm just going to put some red lentils and I'm thinking I'm going to do a pattern which goes outwards. So this is something which is going to be abstract which means we can't see what it's supposed to be. We're not seeing a person or a house or an animal, it's just shapes. And I'm going to put, um, if you look at the sheets underneath, a sheet with some examples of different patterns in to give you some ideas before you start. So please have a look at that to get some inspiration and ideas. Here we go, so I've put lots of lentils down. I'm just going to take a few seconds just to press press them down get them nice and flat because when we lift it up quite a few of them will fall off otherwise there we go so I've got a piece of dry pasta in the middle and some lentils around the outside and I'm going to get my PVA glue again and I'm going to put some more glue around the outside and like I said it doesn't matter if it splodges or makes a mess if we get glue in the wrong places because it dries transparent so we can't see it it won't be white when it dries to put some pasta down um, so my pasta it's got a nice rough texture there it's quite nice to feel all of the different materials as we go with the different textures So I've got a row of pasta around that and I think I'm going to use some of my rice. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of rice around and if you're using quite colourful items like I am here, it's quite nice sometimes just to leave them as they are. They don't always need painting or you might do more than one of these and you might paint one and you might um, leave one just as it is without adding the, the colour on top so again acrylic paints work well but they do tend to stain so if you don't want to use acrylic paints poster paints can work too and yeah I'm just dropping some rice down just giving it a press making sure that it's not going to fall off. I think I've got some areas that need a bit more glue, so I'm going to put a bit more glue down. I've gotten to the end of my glue to the area that I've glued on so I'm going to put some more glue on otherwise everything will fall off so I'm going to get some more glue and I'm going to put some more down I'm going to do another layer of glue working quite quickly so that the glue doesn't dry I've stuck the bits on. It's a nice thick layer of glue, of PVA glue. There we go. 
yellow. And I think now I'm going to add on a bit of string. So I'm just going to cut some pieces out and stick them down. Something else would work that would work if you didn't have strings, elastic bands, you can stick some elastic bands down, uh, bits of cotton, thread or wool. Wool would look very nice if you've got some wool in different colours. So just snipping some bits off in different sizes and sticking those down. Again, it's nice to have some nice soft textures as well as the hard ones. So I'm just going to press down all the way across so those bits of string stay down. a bit like a giant sun doesn't it there we go okay and then we just keep on going out all the way to the edges or you might want to just keep a small piece like that like I say it's up to you you can do the same one as me with whatever objects you've got so making a circle or an oval and going outwards or you can just stick things down as you please you can create your own pattern or series of patterns and you can leave it as it is to dry or you can paint if you want so I might add a little bit of paint just to give you some ideas. You can paint on top of the, the um, objects which you've stuck down once they're dry. Mine are still wet, so I'm just going to be very gentle. It might be an idea if you're doing more than one to make them first, to stick everything down and then once... Um, they've dried you can go back and do the painting there we go so yeah my the lentils are still a bit um easy to move as they're wet but you get the idea you can just paint on top using whatever colors you want and if you want to we can do a bit of finger painting like we did few sessions ago so I'm just going to put my finger in the paint and then go around like this and if you want to you can incorporate you can in a bit of um, block printing as well so in the first session we used some um, potatoes and objects food from the house and we dip them in paint and then printed from them put them down on the paper you can do that now as well if you want if you want to use that or want to use some paper collage as well it's up to you you can just have a play there we go we'll do some finger painting around the edges and just quickly um, I'm gonna get another color I think maybe a blue or green let's have a bit of green if you want to use a brush you can make some different lines and marks with your paintbrush as well there we go when you go all the way around and yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed today's session. Like I said, it's just about whatever you can get hold of in the house that you want to stick down. 
and I hope this has given you some ideas and hopefully see you soon.